exist in individual subgenus of pocket monsters, more commonly referred to as Pokemon to shorten the term itself, that are part of an avian family or capable of pushing themselves from the surface and in the point of a region in the air by other means naturally capable of launching themselves upwards to the farther reaches of the atmosphere in an extraordinary manner traversing the Empyrean. However, despite being unable to achieve the said feature, I have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the action of emulation. They can naturally use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the action of emulation. There is an individual subgenus of pocket monsters naturally capable of excavating and loosening the earthly soil to create an aperture with an enormous depth and is sizably voluminous to boot. However, despite being able to achieve the said feature, I have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hindling appendages to commit the action of ambulation. They can naturally use the frontal appendages and posterior hindling appendages to commit the action of ambulation. I currently do not possess the geographical knowledge of my current location, quaintly wherein I am traversing however nevertheless. If there may be destined or desired location to which I must migrate, then I may ambulate to one's wishes to endeavor to. I for one have a disagreeable opinion of not desiring a motive to preserve ambulating as I casually have done. I shall continue my previous actions until I have completed my achieved goals and will later accompany the one who I am generating attention to any or all persons, particularly any form of a melodious sound wave produced by my larynx within their abode. There exists an individual subgenus of pocket monsters naturally capable of expelling a high volume ear piercing noise from their mouth, usually uttered to express the emotion of pain, fright, surprise, anger, or enthusiasm while other individual subgenus of pocket monsters have the very deadly ability to naturally emit a powerful light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation from their oral cavity. However, despite being unable to achieve the said feature, I have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the action of ambulation. They have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the acts of ambulation. There exists an individual subgenus of pocket monsters naturally capable of possessing very tense and large muscle groups that includes the four major muscles that mix up the shape of the thigh, known as the quadriceps femoris, and one pocket monster, known as Arceus or Archaeus, depending on one's own pronunciation, is deemed as a deity by its tremendous feats from being birthed by an egg from an unknown origin, and to quickly follow, later created the entirety of the Pokemon world it is known today. However, Despite being unable to achieve the said feature, I have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the action of ambulation. They have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the acts of ambulation. And certain to boot, as the aforementioned Pocket Monster is responsible for bearing the title of being the sole producer of everything after its birth, I have to be considered privileged of being at the exterior from my abode whereas the previously aforementioned pocket monster is now at somewhere confined to a spherical devices that are critical to one's trainer's quest while storing them inside. There are no particular or fortunate happenings whatsoever, or any pocket monsters whose body size index has more sizable feats for myself to take participation in such China's combat. I am currently ambulating exclusively through the period of time where ambient darkness from sunset to sunrise and where the exact time of night begins and ends differ from location, time, season, and year. There exists an individual subgenus of pocket monsters naturally capable of performing the acts of metamorphosis, where one pocket monster changes form by either leveling up by fighting, interacting with certain minerals, trading, or by other means. However, my process of being resolute in what I am able to accomplish has been set in a firm decision. I would also request everyone to listen, as I possess the additional natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hindling appendages to commit the action of ambulation. They have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hindling appendages to commit the action of ambulation. There exists an individual subgenus of pocket monsters, more notably pocket monsters who are gendered female pocket monsters at birth, or the transforming pocket monster Ditto 
are capable of reproducing offspring in the form of oval-shaped organic vessels with nutrients and protective envelopes within the outer shell and having the capacity to develop a new individual existence within a certain amount of time. However, understanding the pain of childbirth through the identical yet similar means of aliens and reptiles, despite being unable to achieve the said feature, I have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the action of ambulation. They have the natural ability to use the frontal appendages and posterior hind leg appendages to commit the action of ambulation. Rumors from certain unknown individuals say that I happen to lack seriousness while irresponsibly disposing the precious measured period in which action or conditions exist and continues chronologically. As I am aware of their negative feedback and opinions, I shall resume the act of ambulating and abandoning the individuals who harbor negative vibes in a location in which they are now in a secondary or inferior position. There is no space in the period in which action or conditions exist and continues chronologically that allows me to conjure the existence of emotion of depression and willfulness when there are numerous landscapes, people, and unknown locations to be visually perceived. To a greater degree or an extent of a distance beyond one's reach, more notably toward myself, the pocket monster numbered as the 20th in the Johto Pokedex, originating from the Johto region, next to the Kanto region and in the central area of the Kalos region.